but anyway um so this is a this is a like a weird time and place i guess to say something further about this but i don't really care because i i just i don't really have an avenue right now and i don't i don't stream much on my main and i don't i don't really like stream and i do want to um don't talk about it dream for the love of god shut up please you have no idea what i'm gonna say and you have no idea of, you have no idea of what the fuck I'm, I'm i'm doing so please let me live i'm not an idiot don't treat me don't baby me don't treat me like an idiot um so but i so i just want to say uh very this is gonna be fairly brief um but i just want to say uh first of all i'm going to talk about this more so this isn't this is good if this was it there'd be criticism of like talking about it on a parkour alt stream you know, in the middle of nowhere and not posting like i will talk about it elsewhere i will this is just this is literally just me like it, it's do an update it's do an update that's it um so just know that i will talk about it later um so obviously you know oh let me just let me do this obviously uh back in october th that's the situation i'm gonna talk about back in october um right after the face reveal the whole you know grooming situation that happened um this is what i have to say about it for now that you know because i haven't addressed it in a long time um and obviously some of this is stuff that i have said but it's also stuff that i've that i've just you know it's like on a private alt so it's something that is not a very like public thing to say um but one i didn't do it so i guess that's the most important possible thing to fucking get out of the way um uh there's a lot of uh like complications obviously because it's a very like intense thing to accuse somebody of like obviously um the accusation obviously is that a 17 year old said that um i sent them pictures of my dick and um and like exchanged news with them or something um when they were 17 and i was 20 or whatever however old i was um that was that was what was accused so that's a very serious thing to accuse because that's you know obviously <laughs> bad um and as a secondary thing uh it's a uh, very scary to talk about because of the fact that that's such a real issue and anything you say can be like can devalue other <laughs> victims you know from having their stories heard and so i am always very very scared of saying anything in regards to whenever i'm saying oh this is like i like i want to be like and this is something i'm, I'm going to say this now because of the fact that i feel comfortable saying this and i'm prefacing it by saying um that i don't want to devalue any any other any other situations any other victims any other anything she's a liar she's a liar she lied and manipulated the situation i don't know for what gain i don't know for what situation um and, and exactly why i have i have re i have like ideas of why i have speculation of why um but i don't have an exact you know reason for it but it's very scary being aggressive and saying something like that because of the fact that it, it's there's real situations that a victim could hear that and be scared to say something because the person can just say oh it's a lie or oh this didn't happen this person's crazy and that can scare people now obviously whenever this happened in the past because i know how serious this is like this happened to like sapnap and this happened to bad boy halo and the skeppy and like other people um i was the first person to jump to instantly be fuck you this is fake you know whatever right i did that in every situation because I know how serious it is. Now, the difference is when this happened, I went to my friends and said, don't do that. Do not, do not engage with this. Don't, you know, whatever. Obviously my friends, you know, the people that I'm close to have all the information and know that it's bullshit and have expressed to me and expressed their views. And I have asked them, you know, myself personally, um, to stay not involved, to stay, you know, out of the situation um, because of the fact that she said she was gonna go to the police and she said she was going to take um, legal action. Now, she didn't. She did not. It's been over a year and she did nothing. She did absolutely nothing. She sent a picture of like a police station and lied. Um, now, there's not much I can really do about like, you know, suing her or something um, because then I, I have to prove that I didn't, I, I have to basically like prove in a court of law that 100% beyond a reasonable doubt i um i didn't um engage with her on snapchat which deletes messages 
Whereas if she's suing me, she has to prove that. And obviously it's innocent until proving guilty. It's like proving you didn't do something is fucking nearly impossible. It's like saying, oh, prove you, unless it's something that's very provable, like prove you didn't go to 7-Eleven at this time on this day. And it's like, okay, well, I was at my house and there's like cameras or whatever. Um, so, so defamation is the hardest lawsuit to win in America and just in the world. It's one of the hardest things to win and to prove because the rules of what you have to prove are ridiculous. You have to prove like they know you have to prove that not only are they, not only are they lying, but they're, but they're lying on purpose. Not only are they lying on purpose, but, um, a hundred percent, you have to prove 100% they're lying. You have to prove that they're lying on purpose. You have to prove that they're trying to hurt your reputation. And that's why they're lying. Like intent matters, which is so stupid. Like why does intent matter? If you're lying about somebody, you're lying about somebody. Um, but, but anyway, it is a, it is a, it's a tough situation. Um, so I was obviously for a while for probably, you know, six, seven, eight months. Yeah. I mean, the first thing I did was talk to a lawyer. Someone said you talked to a lawyer. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but anyway, uh, for the first like six, seven, eight months, uh, I was like, okay, uh, you know, maybe even, even, maybe even just like the first few, I was like, okay, she said she's going to the police. She said that this is happening. Um, this is happening. So my lawyer said, wait. And then when she tries to, uh, you know, sue you, um, or when she tries to like, you know, take legal action, you take legal action back. Right. And then you, you can like counter sue and, um, and then you can win in the, the public in court of public opinion. And then everything, you know, everything's good and dandy. And I was like, okay. And so my lawyer was like, sit tight, shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. And then when she's an idiot and tries to, if she, if she's an idiot and tries to lie, um, you know, in court, obviously she'd have to, she'd have to prove 100% that what she's saying is true, which she wouldn't be able to do. And then you can counter sue her and, and basically you can win in court of public opinion and win in uh, court. But anyway, nothing happened. So, uh, she didn't do that. And then after like six months or whatever, and I was like, okay, um, then it's, it's, it is like a timing thing. So it's, it's a, it's a, it's complicated to talk about because you don't want to be like, oh, you shouldn't consider your YouTube or you shouldn't consider your social media or your image when you're talking about stuff like this. But the problem is that's what matters in this situation to me because of the fact that I did nothing wrong and I'm being slandered at this point. That's all that matters. All that matters is that her goal was to kill my reputation or I don't know what her goal was, but obviously it did hurt my reputation massively. And now my, my goal is how can I make sure that everyone knows that everyone knows what happened and how it happened and, and that this is not true and, and whatever. Right. And so it's just as important to strategize quote unquote around, you know, when you reply and, and how your reply is, is done. Cause like, as an example, I, you know, I could do a whole thing and then have people, you know, if I, let's say I did a whole ass pastement or something, I'm not doing a pastement, but like if I did a whole ass pastement and you could have people like quoting and be like, oh my God, look at this million word essay. Right. Like the point is it doesn't matter. You, people can just not even read it and be like, oh, that's too long. So you have to think about like retention and you have to think about how things are said and what they're said and when they're said. So like, that's been a, obviously a, a very big thing, which is why this is kind of being talked about now. Um, because of the fact that I'm starting to make content again. And obviously after this happened, I kind of took a break a bit on other stuff and I was demotivated from like the Minecraft community and whatever. Um, so like now that I'm starting to come back, I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to obviously address the elephant, elephant in the room, which is what I said before. But um, just to give some, again, I, I do plan on saying more about it. So this isn't the only thing I'll say. Um, I do plan in the future having, uh, you know, making a, a video uh, probably on DreamXD um, that goes like into detail and everything. Um, but bullet points that, uh, are important that for now, I guess you can just, you can understand that I, I obviously I do have, um, stuff to, um, back this up, but, um, but I can just factor this. So one, um, I downloaded Snapchat data. I hadn't done that, um, since because I, obviously I blocked her and that was something that she said, she used that like against me. Like he blocked me. Obviously I'm going to block you. Um, because you're saying things that I did things that I didn't do. I'm going to block you. That's like very obvious. It doesn't prevent her from getting any logs. But I did. Um, I downloaded one second. Let me just close my door. Sorry, there was like a knock on my door. Um, uh, but anyway, I downloaded Snapchat logs because I was like, okay, after a year, I was like, okay, how can I you know, download it? It literally took me like five minutes. And I was like, I wonder why she didn't download Snapchat logs and share Snapchat logs a year ago when this happened since it took like 10 minutes. Um, and I realized it's because it shows that she doctored stuff <laughs> because there's multiple messages that are 
you know, saved messages in her pictures that are not in the Snapchat logs that should be in the Snapchat logs um, that just aren't there. Um, so that's kind of the first thing. Second thing is that uh, I didn't even, so first of all, I had her on Snapchat, but I didn't add her on my main Snapchat. Um, I had her on a Snapchat that is a fairly public Snapchat that I, it's not public, but it's something that I have, I had editors on, I have um, staff members on, I have people that I met in like random CSGO games on. Um, that's the first thing. Secondly, uh, this is again, something that I can show in the video on, on, on how it's true, um, but I didn't know she was a fan. That sounds ridiculous because she sent a fan message. Like her first message was like, oh my God, I love you guys, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, but uh, I deleted her from my inbox many times like which which deletes all the message history um and it's stupid but the way that instagram works is it just puts you back into the messages it's like even if you're swiped out and i this is 100 percent provable um and the reason this is provable is because basically you can't delete someone else's messages um you can only delete your own on instagram so if her if if her some of her messages are gone it means i deleted the whole chat um so i deleted the whole chat from my inbox many times and so the only thing that the, the first message I have is Merry Christmas or something. And then her talking about streaming stuff um, and, you know, whatever. Um, so uh, anyway, so whenever I, I would be careful on how much you get into a dream, just know you can get on in 10 sometimes. Knowing how people, yeah, yeah. People probably will take things out of context. Um, I'm not going to, I'll, I'm just going to be very, very brief. Cause then I, again, I'll go into it more in the future. Um, but anyway, so I didn't know. So I, I didn't, I didn't have any context to her first messages. Obviously I'm not going to, um, why did you delete the message many times? So, um, basically it's not deleting the messages. It's swiping. It's like, I swiped her out of my inbox. So from on Instagram, I swiped her out of my inbox. So I don't know if that, uh, I can explain, you can see more in, when I make a video, but how that happens is like, if you swipe someone out of your inbox, you're like trying to get rid of them, but Instagram's stupid. And no matter, unless you block somebody, once you've replied to them, they are stuck in your inbox forever. Like as long as they message you, it will notify you until you block them. No matter what, no matter if you're following them, no matter if whatever, um, Instagram, not Snapchat, Instagram. Um, but anyway, so I tried, I tried swiping her out many times. Um, and then obviously my, my only context to her is like her talking about wanting to stream, blah, blah. Um, now why did I add her on Snapchat? Great question. First of all, obviously when I was faceless, which is a very different thing to now, um, I did use Snapchat primarily for pretty much everything, even with George, even with Nick, even with like my friends, um, because if I have a picture of a cat, you know, my cat, and then all of a sudden you zoom in on the eye and you see you know, you see me, then, um, then like, that's a big deal. So I use Snapchat for a lot of stuff, but, uh, what specifically, why did I add her was because we were talking about music and I was working on, um, like songs at the time Then you can, I don't, I don't remember I, this again, I'd show this in the video, but, but I was working on song snippets. I think it was of trust issues, but I don't remember which, what it was on. And obviously I'm not going to send a song snippet and get someone's opinion over Instagram. So that was why I added her Snapchat. And again, it was, it wasn't even, it wasn't, it's not my private, um, Snapchat. It's my, it was a, a public um, like not a public one, but, a, I had a lot of people on it. Like it related. Why did you talk to her? Um, so my first DM to her ever was me saying thank you to her in, I think 2019 or 2020 when I was a lot smaller, I had like 10,000 followers on Instagram or something. Um, and it, that was like two years before it happened with a fan. Yeah, it was, it was obviously she was, it was a fan message her saying like, I love you guys. Uh, thank you guys, whatever. And I replied and said like, thank you. Um, and, uh, that was, you know, in 20, 2020 or whatever, when I was much smaller. And then I didn't like reply to her for forever. And I obviously delete, and there's, again, this is hundred percent true and provable. I, um, I deleted her out of my inbox many times. Um, so like I wanted her out of my inbox and then, uh, obviously she was gone. And then, um, uh, we chatted about music or whatever. And I didn't, I had no idea she was a fan, but also I didn't talk to her in any way inappropriately and, um, only had like friendly messages with her, blah, blah, whatever. Um, but anyway, bullet points, just because I'll, I'll move on and I can talk about it later. Um, so one, she's just lying about a lot of stuff. She uh, obviously wanted to make things look the worst she possibly could. Um, uh, two, uh, I I added her on Snapchat, but I add a lot of people on Snapchat on my semi-public Snapchat. I have three Snapchats. I have my actual public Snapchat that everyone can add me on that I, that I don't actually like add people on. Um, I have my private, private Snapchat that I have my friends, like my close friends on my family, you know, whatever. And then I have like my private public Snapchat that, um, essentially is my, uh, uh is like, I have like my mod team and uh, not, not all my mod team, but I have some people, um, and I have like, uh, editors and I have people, you know, old friends from IRL and, uh, people from, uh, you know, the CSGO lobbies and whatever. So anyway, it, it people made, made it seem like a massive deal, like, Oh, 
uh, you added it like on a personal thing. Like, no, I didn't. And even if I did, even even if I had, um, I, I didn't. I did not view her. I, I did no idea. I had no context to her being a massive fan, um, because uh, her messages were gone. Because I tried to get her out of my inbox, and the way Instagram is is just stupid. Um, but anyway, uh, she lied. She lied about a lot of stuff. Um, some of it's like very provable. Like I, I, I again, I downloaded Snapchat data, which uh, shows uh, her lying about a, a couple things, which is. I'm guessing why she never actually showed it. Um, uh, uh, what other what other details are there? there? There's a there's a lot more. I'm just I'm forgetting shit. But um, uh, on on top of all of that, um, uh, so I, I guess okay. Very quick, very quick. I'll break it down that way. Um, uh, that way, so I can separate it. So first things first. The the biggest the the one of the questions would be. Why did you add her on Snapchat? My obviously my answer to that was that I was sharing. We were talking about music. The last messages we had, um, she seemed to be into music. I wanted opinions from people, but I didn't want to get opinions from like my friends. Well, I did, but I wanted additional opinions, um, and I wanted to share a song snippet. But I obviously didn't want to just send a song snippet over Instagram because Instagram then you can just share it and leak it. And I obviously did not trust her at all. So I wanted to be able to get her opinion on music though. Um, but she was a fan. Why would you add a fan on Snapchat? So. First of all, I didn't know that she was a fan, or I, I assume maybe she was a fan, but um, you know, but she was also a streamer, or that she was, um, you know, not like a massive fan, um, uh, because of the fact that uh, she, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, she, her messages were gone from me because I swiped her out of my. I tried to get her, and this is this is factually provable. I tried to get her, remove her from my inbox, um, the entire time. Uh, uh, like for, you know, for years, I tried deleting her from my inbox, which again is provable. Why would I be trying to groom this person and delete them from my inbox and get them out and like kick them out of my messages? Why would I do that? It doesn't make any sense. Um, but anyway, so that's the first thing. Second thing. Um, yeah, I thought she was, I mean, I, I know, I don't know. I don't even remember it so long ago. I don't remember who I thought she was. I probably, I assume because she was in my messages and she messaged me, Merry Christmas, whatever, that she was either, um, you know, a content creator, like a, a small content creator, obviously, because she was talking about streaming stuff. Um, or she was a, um, uh, you know a fan but not like not like a stan um so secondly uh why would you add her on your personal snapchat wasn't my personal snapchat was i have many i have three snapchats and it was my front facing snapchat like i mean i'm not going to say the name because it's stupid but um the name of the snapchat is ridiculous okay that, that yes i'm going to use that as my personal snapchat uh, uh, that is literally like an easily guessable like snapchat no obviously i wouldn't um secondly she was a minor why would you add a minor on snapchat First of all, I use Snapchat for everything. So I think uh, I, I, I wasn't you know, trying to sext her. I wasn't trying to um, you know, be sexual or you know, have a relationship. So why would I, one, why would I care? Two, I'm like 99% sure this is one of the only things I can, that, I, that I will say that isn't like backed up by like evidence. I thought she was 18, which doesn't matter because nothing sexual happened at all and nothing ever happened. But she had like her uh, graduation in her bio or something on Instagram, like that she was graduated from high school or something along those lines. Um, and that was my, like, that was my impression. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the first basis. Next basis, uh, so that's the first thing. So like, why did you add her? Blah, blah, blah. Um, secondly is the, like for the sexual stuff, like, did you, um, sex, you know, did you sex her? No, I never, like, obviously I think it's kind of ridiculous to think that, and this is, this is, this is just to show this is, this is also like, obviously you can't, you can't prove on, you, you didn't send something on Snapchat. Um, but I'll just say this, her story takes place when I was faceless. Her story, based on her time frame that she agrees, is that I would have added her on Snapchat, and then within a week and a half of however much we've talked, which we had like almost never talked at that point, um, have sent her a picture of my day as a like faceless content creator that hardly interacted, you know, with people and that did not even show my face to my best friend for. Uh, you know, until they showed up. Anyway, that, you have to make that assumption. Now, obviously, the question then becomes: Okay, what you know, what proof do you have um, to to help show her dishonesty? And then that gets into a lot of stuff about time frames and um, you know messages and intentions and blah blah blah. Obviously, I downloaded the Snapchat data. I can uh, when I whenever I post second channel video, I'll um, share this. I'll share that. That's obviously easy. I also have uh, transcripts of her um, Instagram. Um, uh, messages to me and she deleted a bunch of messages and that's actually also factually proven she deleted messages that made her look 
like weird and bad. She deleted double messages. She deleted messages that I ignored um, on Instagram. Uh, obviously, she messaged me for like two years, and that's also factually provable and already has been out there um, uh, to an extent because she accidentally posted a video that had her deleted messages in them in the background. Um, uh, on on top of that, uh, there's there's certain things that she said that are just like that just like that people are using as like a grooming thing that are that are stupid, like saying, oh, gift giving. That's like a thing of grooming um, because like I gave her a, a gift card um, and it's like uh, I had a, I gave my whole mod team. Uh, it says Merry Christmas on the gift card. And I gave my whole mod team um, Christmas gift cards and had like a shit ton extra. I actually still have extra gift cards from them. Um, and uh, she had said it was her birthday. And so I was like, oh, here, have a gift card. It was like in my images, which I literally just sent, um, which is not, it's not grooming. It's me being nice to somebody. Um, uh, uh, what else? There's, uh, I, I don't even know. She, uh, oh yeah. And then like timeline shit like doesn't add up. She said, she said like we were going to meet up, which like, again, I'm sorry, but I, the only person I met up with while I was a faceless, you know, creator was nick who moved in with me and i never met up with anybody else and if you think that if you like legitimately think that obviously during that time period that i wasn't like i hadn't ever talked to anybody at all like on like a relationship level in terms of you know friends and and like content creators and stuff that i didn't meet up with if you think that's not true that's just stupid like obviously that's just the case i didn't meet up with anybody and i think it's ridiculous that oh i'm gonna i was gonna meet up with you know whatever um and uh, uh, on top of that, uh, what, I'm, I'm just, I'm forgetting a lot. I don't want to go too long because again, it'll be clipped out of context and you know, whatever. But essentially, uh, there, there's, there's a lot. And, and there also is that fear that, again, she can just come out at any point and just say, uh, like, she could just right now be like, oh, uh, you know, have do a tweet and be like, I can't believe you would lie like this and blah, blah. She said so much and provided so little. She provided not a single piece of evidence that uh, of any grooming anything at all um like remotely N not a single piece of evidence she proved that i messaged her friendly on instagram and the whole entire context of uh our instagram dms is public that you can read through and read uh you know and and read the transcripts of um and then that a uh, proof that i added her on snapchat on my like work snapchat essentially um to share a song snippet that she also didn't even like share that that was the reasoning um, and then like made it out to be this nefarious thing, blah, 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 whatever. Um, and she obviously like deleted messages of her, of her own. Um, she also like, she had like, I don't know, apparently she had like fake accounts and stuff. I don't know that that was stuff that people, um, were, were saying. Um, and like, uh, apparently she had like a boyfriend, which I think may be part of the reason why this happened. I think maybe she was like bragging to her boyfriend or something. And then like, uh, and then like her boyfriend hated me or something. I don't know. I don't know exactly what, what happened, but, um, uh, but also, um, anyway, uh, what about the bikini comment? Yeah. See, there's two, there's two screenshots. Um, first of all, there's two screenshots, both from, uh, after she was 18, um, of me apparently complimenting her that I wasn't even like, I was like thinking back and I was like, is this like, like me calling somebody gorgeous? Um, like I, that doesn't seem too far fetched to me. So I'm like sitting there like, okay, is, is this something that happened? Um, but then I download the Snapchat data and it's not there and there's no messages. There's no, there's, there's, there is saved messages and all the other saved messages are there, but then, you know, a message, that message isn't there. And it's like, huh, interesting. I wonder why that's not there. And I wonder why she didn't share the snap data. Um, so in my mind, it's like, I, uh, I have the inclination, um, to believe that, uh, she's being like extra malicious and that she went as far as to like fake stuff. Um, but also everything that she shared um, that was even really like the, the most like damning anything at all um, that she shared whatsoever was me or me saying you're gorgeous um, to her after her 18th birthday um, that I don't even think happened, which is ridiculous. And then saying that I groomed her, which is just so, so stupid. And then she's like replying to people on TikTok and saying like, uh, you're just mad that your creator, your favorite creator thinks I'm gorgeous, you know, whatever. But anyway, how many times did I message her? I have no idea. Um, we messaged, so, so basically, I'll do one more little summary, very briefly, um, just because it's kind of it's stupid. I'm being careful. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it more. So first of all, I'm gonna talk about it more in the future. Um, this isn't the only time I'm gonna talk about it. Um, second of all, 
I haven't talked about it to this point based on advice from uh, multiple different management teams and also advice from my lawyer. Um, and then I'm actually going against management's advice um, uh, to make a video and to um, respond in general. Um, so there's that. Secondly, she claimed that she was going to post uh, more evidence and never did. Thirdly, she claimed that she was going to call the police and uh, and take legal action. She never did. She lied. Um, she claimed that um, uh, uh, I sexed her. I never did. She claimed that we were going to meet up. We never were. Um, I was faceless when this all happened. People forget. And I was literally living in a house that had boarded up windows and had curtains on the in front of the door. And I left the back my house in the back of a car to go to the dentist in a different state. So that's, again, just a lie. Um, she claimed that, uh, um, or, or, or people claimed that she was a massive stan and that I tried, and that that's why, you know, that I knew that and that's why I added her. Um, but it's just not true. I had swiped out her messages. The most recent messages I had were just her saying Merry Christmas, like very, very recently to when those messages were, and then friendly message about her wanting to be a streamer. Um, uh, she, uh, People claim why you know why would you add uh, you know someone on Snapchat? One again, as a faceless creator, that has to be very careful about everything that I send and everything being used to like dox me or take pictures of me. Um, I uh, um, you know I was very careful and I use Snapchat for everything. So first of all, it's less damning. Second of all, I have three Snapchat, so I didn't add her on my private Snapchat. Um, you know, that's secondly. Third of all, um, uh, people say why would you add a minor on Snapchat? First of all, uh, I, I first of all I didn't know she was a minor because she had a something about her graduating high school in her bio on Instagram. And on top of that, um, it doesn't matter that she was a minor. Like Snapchat's a messaging platform. It doesn't matter. Like obviously I wouldn't go around if I, if I knew, if I had known a hundred percent that, um, uh, you know, someone's like you know, 12 or 10 or something or 15, like obviously, obviously I would never even like talk to them. Cause it's just like, it can be uh, you know used as, as weirdly, but like dizzy, my, you know, one of my big, and I don't want to bring dizzy into this, but one of my biggest, you know, like, uh, he's an editor and he's a, he does a lot of like thumbnail stuff and blah, blah. He was like 16 and 17. I had him on Snapchat. I had him on my text messages. I had him on stuff. And he was my, one of my number one, like, uh, you know, friends in terms of like editing and stuff. Um, so it's different. Like Snapchat, uh, people obviously are looking at it as like a, a, a weird thing just for that. But anyway, um, yeah, there's, there's that. Um, and then obviously, so the timing does line up. And then in terms of like evidence for what, uh, you know, I can show, obviously I do have evidence that I can, uh, show that I'll I'll have on a, a secondary um, uh, I'll have on a video at some point, um, which obviously I downloaded the Snapchat data. I also have timestamps for everything. I also have um, you know whatever. As for like uh, friends of mine, people that I've talked to, um, uh, obviously I've shared even more detail than what I've shared here privately to people, and I've shown people things. And I've, uh, I've I've gone into detail with people on things, and as far as I know. Um, there's not a single person that I've interacted with, um, have that I have been friends with or that I am friends with that has any doubt that this is not you know, someone being malicious and that this person does not actually, you know, think they were groomed or were groomed and that this person is being, you know, malicious about it. Um, so, uh, obviously there's a lot more, I think, and there's a lot of stuff I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't share, but I will at some point, um, do something with this. Um, it's just a very complicated situation and it's something that um, I have to take very seriously for, uh, you know, for legal reasons, but also for reputation reasons, but also for just uh, in general, um, you know, like it, it's a very serious situation. And whenever you're talking about uh, something as serious as, uh, you know, sexual assault or, um, you know, pedophilia or grooming or something, um, it, you have to be very, very careful because you have to be respectful, even if this person is a liar or or disingenuous or is being malicious or being horrible, um, or his goal is to like hurt you. You have to think about the fact that there are a lot of people that go through bad situations that aren't trying to do that. Um, so you have to be careful. So, I think I talked about it for way too long, way longer than I want to. Obviously, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot to it. It's very emotional when it happened. Obviously, there was a lot of like emotions to it, and there was a lot of it took a lot of time, and like I, I was obviously going through a lot, and so uh, it's a you know tough situation, I guess, um, uh, to talk about at all, um, and that 
uh, it's obviously affected me far more than anybody knows and far more and I, you know, affected my family and friends and life far more than anyone knows. Um, so, uh, obviously I, I do want it to just get over with and I, I do want to, um, uh, you know, talk about it and so on and so forth. It's just very complicated. And to people, to anybody that, that, you know, especially equate that wants to, you know, the, the, right now the lies that are being spread are like ridiculous. Like people are talking about like there being tons of victims and like, you know, fucking kids and like all this shit. Or like when I, you know, when I have like a fan meetup and like I take a picture with a kid, it's like people are being so horrible. And that's just, that's so, that's just really bad. I don't think people realize what they're doing. Um, for people that, you know, talk about like, as an example, like fucking Carson or other people, like one, there's evidence of, for that. And two, they admitted it. Like that's, this is ridiculous. She at any point can sue me. If I'm lying, I'm just saying, if I'm lying, I did not groom anybody. I did not groom her. I did not send her a picture of my dick. I did not, you know, blah, blah, blah. She can just sue me. I'm saying that. That's a I'm, that's a statement. That's not me saying, well, oh, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. That's a statement. Like, she can sue me. She can just literally sue me and win millions of dollars, probably. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So I'll talk about it more. And I obviously I I did see a lot of stuff about her. Like I saw again, this like allegedly she she apparently groomed somebody allegedly. Um, and I'm going to say allegedly for that. Cause I, I have no idea of all the details, but I did, I did see stuff about that, which was very bad. And it was about somebody like horrible stuff. I, I can't even say it cause it's, it's very like triggering to a lot of people probably, but, um, and, uh, and the problem is I've gotten message with people and again, who knows if any of this is true. And again, this is like allegedly, but I got message from like people that are big in the community being like, Hey, just so you know, I heard like that this per that she, uh, she's going to come out and like fake, you know, fake stuff and fake messages and, and, you know, so on and so forth. Um, and that's obviously sometimes I've gotten messed like that. And then I've delayed me responding. Cause I've been like, okay, well, that's about to happen. Like I want to, I want to let that happen so I can debunk stuff. Um, uh, uh, but the thing is, is like, she's obviously had enough time to put everything out there that po you know, possibly that she you know has. And obviously when she was going through everything and tweeting everything and sharing everything she had, like, what did she share? There was no, and that's, that's just, I think it's just a big, I probably, I, I wish I had responded in, like initially again, I didn't because my lawyer told me not to. And then also I was in, uh, you know, I was in like, a, in the middle of a lot of big stuff. Like I was in like talks with like, um, you know, for deals and stuff for a lot of things. And like, I don't know. I was just like, it was very scary. It was very, very scary. And I, I, so I didn't reply, but now I wish I had, because uh, now I, I feel like I'll never have, um, as big of like a, a spread, even if I, you know, even when I do post a reply, um, cause it is just kind of ridiculous. Um, but, uh, but like at the end of the day, I, at least now I, you know, I do want to kind of like move, move past it and, um, be able to look back and be like, okay, what, whatever, like, uh, you know, water under the, the, you know, the bridge. But I, I just, I just don't want it to be like a thing that just becomes a, like, like he said, she said, and then it just becomes this back and forth where it's like, there's not really like any resolution and it's such a ridiculous like situation. Um, and it's been obviously there's been tons of fake stuff in the past that like it's just like it's scary and frustrating to be able to be like i can come out with like a million things of proof and whatever and then all it takes is is probably her being like believe victims and then everyone's and then everyone's like whatever because obviously it's it is like a scary situation and it's it's a it's a you know like um you don't want to you know you want to be careful about actual victims and stuff so yeah um i do want to talk about it in the future more um, and I, I have been kind of waiting for the right time and also waiting to make sure it's a good, good reply um, and like a, a video that people will actually be able to digest and not like have to skip through or something. But that also goes through all the details and, and provides stuff to back stuff up and whatever. But that also doesn't like I have to be careful. Like I don't want to try and like, you know, I'm, I'm, like I am a victim in this this case, but like I don't want to try and like victimize myself as like, oh, you should feel bad for me. Um, like, yeah, obviously this situation sucks, but at the end of the day, like I, I do care much more about actual victims, like not being like fucked in the public eye than I do about, um, you know, people, uh, saying mean things about me or something. So, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say more in the future. Um, obviously that's what, I, that's what I, that's, uh, I don't know how, I don't know how soon, but I, I do want to, obviously it's a, it's a very like. Just be patient. It's, it's a very, uh, you know, complicated situation. It's a very like, uh, intense situation. Um, and there's a lot of 
factors that are involved that like are completely out of my control like her as an example and at the end of the day like i also don't want to like I, I i in my mind it's like i want this to be to like die down as much as possible so like i don't want like i, I obviously no matter what whether you like uh, you know the fact that i i didn't do anything doesn't change the fact that having you know people talk about whether or not you're like you, know, you did something like wrong in the sexual side is just terrible like that's that's, that's so bad it's like Obviously, I just want people to like shut up. Like that's the biggest thing. So the problem is, is that me talking about it prevents people from shutting up because it it talks down. Like it, people talk about it. So it's it's just a it's complicated. And then obviously, like it's a problem because the other half is out of my control. So like she could obviously just like talk about it for eternity and like you know tweet stuff and um, say stuff and whatever. And it's like and you know until she uh, you know messes up or something, then. Um, and then like, oh yeah, obviously I can sue her or I can sue her family or I can sue, you know, whatever to, um, help, uh, you know, prevent the spread of lies or whatever. But, but anyway, at this point, that's an update. There you go. I'm done talking about it. I talked about it longer than I wanted to. I'm going to parkour some more and then I'm going to probably go to go edit. Um, yeah.